in the name of the Galactic Senate of the Republic, you're under arrest, Chancellor. Mace Windu, to Darth Sidious throughout the Clone Wars, Palpatine had remained a popular leader, remaining in office at the will of the Senate for far longer than his term technically allowed. During this period, Palpatine continued to consolidate and centralize his own power. By 19 BBY, the third and final year of the war, Coruscant's defenses were spread thin. The Separatists had been pushed back to the Outer Rim territories, and could not risk a direct strike at the heart of the Republic. Coruscanty citizens, used to having the war fought far from the capital, were just as surprised as the Coruscant home defense fleet when a Separatist assault force launched a surprise attack on the planet. During the Battle of Coruscant, Chancellor Palpatine was captured and taken to the Separatist flagship, the Invisible Hand, where he was rescued by the Jedi Knights Anakin Skywalker and Obi-Wan Kenobi. After the death of Count Dooku, the Jedi on Coruscant focused their efforts on locating General Grievous, the Supreme Martial Commander of the Separatist droid armies. Despite the Republic's success in the Outer Rim sieges, relations were strained between the Jedi High Council and the Supreme Chancellor. Suspicious of the Chancellor's motives, the High Council tasked Skywalker with spying on Palpatine after he had made the young Jedi Knight the office of the Chancellor's representative on the Council. During the final days of the Clone Wars, Grandmaster Yoda and the 41st Scout Battalion departed from Coruscant to defend the Wookiee homeworld of Kashyyyk. Shortly afterward, the High Council dispatched Kenobi and his 212th Attack Battalion to Utapau, the planet where Grievous had been located by clone intelligence. With the Clone Wars nearing its conclusion, Chancellor Palpatine revealed his secret identity as the Dark Lord of the Sith to Skywalker. Acting on Skywalker's report, Jedi Masters Mace Windu, Kit Fisto, Seiz 18, and Aegon Kola tried to arrest Sidious. The ensuing lightsaber duel resulted in the deaths of Kola, Teen, and Fisto. Although Sidious was disarmed by Windu, he succeeded in killing the Jedi Order's champion due to the interference of Skywalker who believed the Chancellor's claims of possessing the power to save others from death. As a consequence, Skywalker renounced the Jedi and assumed the mantle of a Sith as Darth Vader.